Thank you. Assess it for me from your point of view. Daigle, from a Daigle. GB perspective, obviously. Yeah, well, from a GB perspective, I think Daigle was a, a real balancing act, really. Um, we had a very successful 2010 European Championship, so we had really high expectations for the team what they were capable of winning uh, in, in Daegu. They reached their target that was set by the head coach, um, so I don't think anybody was particularly disappointed there. One big bonus is that we had two brand new world champions in, in Mo Farah and Dai Green. We already know that people like uh, Jessica Ennis and Philip Sidhu can win big championships. And if they have a little bit of fortune on their side, there's gold medals for us in because they've partaken also. So all in all, I think it's a, it was a good, balanced championship. Very well for this year, right? Or do I have 2012, sir? Well, 2012 itself is a completely different story. Uh, and when people set targets for 2011 uh, and say, if we could reach that, we can go one better in 2012, I kind of equate winning uh, seven or eight medals last year, um, sorry, at the World Championships was fantastic. If you win seven or eight at the Olympic Games, it's extraordinary. Uh, because I've equated to be the equivalent of 15 World Championship medals. That's how good um, the Olympic Games is, and that's how so many people will switch on. It's going to be tough. A word on tonight. Tonight is going to be fantastic. I think lots of people are here um, catching up with old friends and obviously want to raise as much money as we can for our team. Thanks for your time, Chris. Pleasure. 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 Keeping it moving. <laughs> hey, keeping it moving. But I'm still going back one more shot next year. You're still doing it? Yeah, one more shot next year. One more shot. Man, right. For now, it's dancing. Yeah. But next year, back in the room. What's the dancing shot. about? Raise the profile? Something yeah, different, I mean, get away from boxing. Just it's the really? highest show on television. Yeah. How can I turn it down? They've come to me three times, the fourth time. If I turn it down now, I'd have never got another invite. Exactly. And Olympic year is coming up next year, so it's good introduction. Back on TV, BBC, it makes sense. You know, next year, though, one more time in the ring, and then I'm done. You've trod the journey of winning an Olympic yeah. gold. Yeah. How much is next year going to mean to the athletes and all those that participate from a sporting perspective? I mean, especially given this on the doorstep. Oh, my God. You're in your hometown, you're in England. You know, I want the whole country to really get behind it because obviously I had to go all the way to Australia to do it, but to do it on, the home, on your home soil and to go out there and produce and win a gold medal, win any medal, to go out there and produce when it matters is going to be something that I'm really looking forward to and I know that people are going to raise their game. The athletes are going to raise their game and we need the country to get behind it. It's going to be something to behold. It's going to be a real special time next year. What are you looking forward to seeing? I know the boxing, oh, obviously, but what else? Boxing, 110, Usain Bolt's just beating everyone up. See if people can catch him. The swimming, Great Britain are doing well, and I think there can be some big upsets. Just so many events, so many events. You know, the rowing's always big. So it's just so many events. But, you know, obviously the boxing, we've got a couple of good prospects, and I think we have some potential gold medalists with boxing. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Last question, how's the dancing training compared to the boxing training? You must get asked that all the time. I know that boxers, they're probably one of the most respected athletes for right. the amount of work they put right. in. But the dancing is meant to be quite difficult, though. It's very difficult. The dancing is like five hours a day. You know, boxing is short spurts. Yeah. But the dancing is definitely, I definitely have a newfound respect for professional dancing because it's a skill and it's something you have to work really hard at. You gonna win? You know what? I'm not going to brag and boast. I, mean, I think we're going to do well, but it's up to the public and the judges, but I think we're going to do well. Good luck with that. Enjoy right, tonight you. as well.